All right, we turn now to Washington, where Democrats in Congress have introduced a slew of new bills to try to restore access to abortion nationwide and to protect access to contraception as conservative states eye restrictions beyond abortion. Republicans on Capitol Hill deny that new abortion restrictions put women's lives in danger, but Democrats disagree, saying the new legal uncertainty is putting women in danger as health care providers try to avoid breaking the law. Every state abortion law triggered by overturning Roe includes an exception to save the life of the mother. Some have already been instructed to observe patients until they have unstable vital signs before acting. That is absolutely barbaric. Democrats vowed a fight to reinstate abortion rights by passing an updated version of the Women's Health Protection Act in the House. But with the filibuster in place, it's unlikely Democrats in the Senate would have the support to change the rules, and Republicans are likely to try and block that measure. Democrats fear that state efforts to ban abortion from the moment of fertilization could result in outlawing emergency contraceptives, IUDs, and even IVF. Now, those proposals come on the same day that Virginia's Attorney General Jason Meares made his way to a pregnancy crisis center in Lynchburg that was actually vandalized after Roe versus Wade was overturned. WFXR's Anna McDougal was there for the visit today and shares the Attorney General's message for the future of similar centers. A big announcement today from Attorney General Jason Meares. Uh, we had a meeting this morning, both to the state police and um, DCJS where they are offering that any crisis pregnancy center that wants a free on-site evaluation of how to enhance security, they will come in and they will help. The move comes after the Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center was vandalized in late June following the overturning of Roe vs. Wade. Lynchburg police released these photos to help with the investigation. Pregnancy Teresa Pregnall is the State Director of Concerned Women for America. She says many local pregnancy centers are receiving support from the community following that destruction. Sometimes trouble brings about really good things and um, what was meant for evil is being turned around and turning into something really beautiful, something really good. In order to prevent future damage, Miara says there is a national security grant of about $1.3 million that organizations can apply for. The investigation of who vandalized the facility is still ongoing. But in the meantime, the Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center is up and running and offering services for women in the community. In Lynchburg, I'm Anna McDougall, WFXR News.